All right, so we're gonna keep it real basic starting out and then get more advanced. Chord number one, two, three, and four. What's going on everyone? This is Casey. I am back again with another exciting video. In this video, we're going to cover the song Go Through Your Phone. This song is by the artist PJ Morton. He is an amazing singer, songwriter, producer, musician, you name it. And to be honest with you guys, I'm always looking for songs that I can play during which will take place November the 19th. The church announcements. <laughs> <laughs> Who pays attention during church announcements? I mean, that's like the best time to play like nice little grooves, you know, four chord grooves and things of that nature. So this song was perfect. I discovered it on NPR Tiny Desk. And uh, so that's why I kind of created the little track. And I'm going to include this track. I'm going to let it loop at the end of this video. So make sure you watch to the end so you can play along. And if you want, you can tag me in your Instagram video at Pretty Simple Music. And I'd love to watch it and share it with some of my other followers. Um, so anyway, we're going to jump into this song. So there are four different chords that we're going to go through and I'm going to play them simple at first and then we'll get a little bit more advanced. Um, what I'm going to do is change this roll sound to a piano sound so you guys can clearly hear the notes and I'm going to fade myself out so you guys can clearly see uh, the chords as I'm playing them as well. All right, so chord number one is going to be an A flat diminished chord over B flat. All right, so here's my A flat diminished seventh chord over the B flat, which gives you that B flat seven and there's a flat nine here, eight nine we're gonna flat that all right so that's the first chord second chord is gonna be an E flat minor chord uh, here is E flat minor first inversion second inversion all right and we're gonna play this over E flat so here's chord number one chord number two and then chord number three all right so I'm kind of playing this chord here in fact I'll add a B flat in there so it's like a F sharp major seven flat the five over a flat which turns that into an a flat looks like a nine and eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so a flat nine with the added thirteen all right so chord number one chord number two chord number three and then chord number four is going to be a b major chord over c sharp so to give a nice little suspension um, which is a c sharp non suspended chord all right we can even add this here just to double up there. All right. Uh, as you can see, I purchased this gumbo t-shirt. This is from his website. I am not endorsed by him. I've never spoken to PJ Morton. Um, you know, so this is just a little shout out um, and in my special way of showing support to artists who are out there doing their thing. And if you want, you can warm it up like this if you want. All right, so there are many different ways you can play this. All right, so those are the four basic chords that we're gonna go through. Now we're gonna spice them up a little bit, okay? So let's jump into the next stage of this. Okay, so something I wanna point out before we go to the next step, if you notice this chord progression is in the key of F sharp major. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So if, if F sharp is the major chord, the relative minor would be E flat minor or E flat minor, the relative major would be F sharp. So what we're gonna do is if you listen to the bass, it's going from a three, six, two, five. All right, and I, I just thought about this. I actually play this progression quite a bit. Um, for example, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that, there it is, that saved a wretch like me. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm trying to teach you songs that you can use in grooves, but also songs that you can actually apply in real life. All right. So let's jump into this next stage uh, of embellishing these four chords. So what I want to do is let's do some rootless uh, voicings. So instead of doing this, we know we have B flat and a bass. We can do something like this. Or. All right. So that's like a D diminished seventh chord. So, and this is over that B flat because the bass is playing now. All right, so this is the first chord. And then here's the second chord. Let's see what I want to do here. Mm, that's nice. That's not really what I was looking for. Let's see. Let's try that. 
So, there we go, I like that better. <laughs> As you can see, there's so many different ways of playing this uh, E flat minor ninth chord, all right? So, here's the first chord. First chord, second chord. All right, first chord, second chord. So when I'm playing this with my left hand, and I'm playing this with my right hand. So this is, this is again, this is rootless chords. So chord number one, chord number two, and then chord number three, I'll do something like this. Let's see, yeah, I like that. All right, so let's go with that. So that's a F sharp, almost like a, a one, two, three, or a F sharp major chord with the added two. And then I'm going to add this B flat chord here. It's like a B flat two with the attitude there. So anyway, if you put all this together, you get an F sharp major nine. And this really, really looks like a flat five and a sharp five. All right. So chord number one. Chord number one is a diminished seventh chord. And then chord number two is this chord here. And then chord number three will be this. And then chord number four, um, I've always just kind of experimented with this one. We'll do this. All right. And as you can see, I did a little, a little spin there, but I'll just keep it simple. We'll do this. We'll save the slurs for the open voicings, okay? All right. So this is a F sharp major chord. And then in my mind, I'm thinking B, a B major chord, like a B major seven chord. All right, so if you put all this together, this is gonna be over the C sharp. So that turns into a C sharp 13 suspended chord. All right, so that way you can kind of follow along. First chord, second chord. All right, so this is that, that chord, all right? So let's review real quick. First chord, D to minus seven, which is over the B flat. And then chord number two is, all right. However you want to play that, that's chord number two. And then chord number three is, that's over the A flat. And then what we're going to do is go to the very last chord. All right. And you can add in little notes. All right. Still, there's still going to be a C sharp uh, 13 suspended chord. All right, so those are those four chords. Of course, we're really, really getting really thick. We're really, really doing a lot of rootless. Those are called rootless chords because, uh, rootless voicings, because as you, as you can see, there is no bass uh, being played. All right, so let's take this to the next stage. Okay, so here we are, stage three, or step three. Um, and this here won't be so much rootless as it will be open. So these are like open voicings. All right, so like instead of playing this, or playing this, we're gonna play this. <laughs> so we get into some nice little slurs. All right, so the chord one um, will be a, a F diminished seven. It looks just like the D diminished seven. And I'm gonna slur into this. So, and this is over the three to the six. It's gonna take us here. All right, so. So right in the right hand, what I'm doing on that sixth chord, I'm doing this. So that's a nice little slur. You hear that? And then. So this is where I land on the chord. Land the chord here. All right, and as you can see here, this is an F sharp major seven chord, and this is over the E flat, which turns into an E flat minor nine. So the first one is and this next one is kind of weird. <laughs> Cause I'm doing this over this here. So it's over the A flat. So it's really like an A flat nine with a, there's a 13 there, which this is my 13 to A, A flat. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. All right, so chord number one. And then we're going to go to, here we go. Let's do uh, this. 
<laughs> since we're already doing slurs here. All right, so what I'm doing here in the right hand, this is over the last note, which is a five or a C sharp. All right, gives you that C sharp 13. Suspend it. All right, so I'm just slurring into this. Now I'm playing that B major chord at the seven there, B major seven. All right, so first chord. And I don't know if you can hear that with the bass, but it will be like a um, boom, boom, which is a three, and then six, and then to the two, to the five. So let's say we're doing a song, Amazing Grace, how sweet, or let's do this. Uh, oh, say, can you, so we'll do that, can you. Can you see? <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to find creative ways to do it, but let's go back to the Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch. Here we go. Like me. All right. So then you can see you can use this, of course, with this song, which is boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm just trying to do it in the rhythm. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. So you can see you can use this in a song or you can use it out of the song and in other songs. All right. So let's jump into stage four or step four. All right. So step four or stage four, um, it's a little bit more dirty. I'm using some untraditional type chords. So instead of this, I'm going to do something like this. All right, so this will be my three chord. Boom, 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 boom. And then I might even add something there. So what I'm doing is, this is in my left hand, this is my right hand, and this weird type chord is gonna go over the, the three or the B flat, which gives you a B flat 13, uh, and I believe there's a flat nine somewhere there. Yeah, there it is, there it is right there. All right, so boom, 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 boom. Let's see, I can, I can do this real quick. Boom, 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 boom. I might do something. Ooh, that's different. Boom, boom, boom. All right. So um, let's let's go through this. So the first chord will be this. Boom, boom, boom. So let me give you this little move. This is nothing but a D diminished seventh chord, and I'm gonna walk my way backwards. All right. And here's a little trick that you can do. You can Play a half step below here, play the half step below here, play a half step below this one, play a half step below here. And what are you going to play a half step below? You're going to play a major chord. So if this is B, half step below is B flat major. Here's the A flat, half step below there is a G major. Here's F, half step below there is an E major. And D, half step below there is a D flat or C sharp major. So let's do that weird chord. Boom, 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 boom. You see how I had to get there quick. There we go. So, amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved. There we go. Or, oh, say, can you see? Now, I actually taught this in the Play Like You series, I believe, that little move. All right, so let's go to the next chord. So the first one is this. All right, this is the uh, next chord. All right, it's still an E flat minor nine. As you can see, I'm just playing an F sharp major nine there with the added E flat. All right, so first chord. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do something different here. Nice little whole tone. All right. So basically I'm doing that same F sharp chord that I was doing before, kind of like that, but I'm just gonna spill off this whole tone scale. All right, and as you can see, I can slur into that. Just like I did, just like I did earlier, I did this. But this time I'm gonna slur into it into the E. All right, so uh, let's go through that whole phrase. 
boom, 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 boom. Here we go. That weird chord. Boom, boom. All right, so, and I just love the whole tone because there's so much you can do. And you can really just, as long as you play within that whole tone scale, you're going to be good to go. Boom, boom, boom. And the last chord is over that C sharp, which we've kind of, we've kind of played this chord already. All right, so boom, 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 boom. All right, I'm just, I'm just slurring into that right here. All right, nothing fancy, but it gives you a nice, thick alternative um, and a little bit of little grunge, a little dirt <laughs> that you can add. All right, so um, uh, boom. this is not part of the lesson. I'm just really just having fun in this part. If you want to just tag along and watch what I do, uh, if not, skip to the end of the video, and I want you to see what you come up with with the play along track that I'm going to include absolutely free. So I'll play it and loop, let it loop for you. But I'm just kind of having a little fun here. Boom, 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 boom. So I'm E minor, E flat minor here. So let's see here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I know what I could do. I could do something like this. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Let me do that again slowly. I don't know if I can repeat it. I did this in the more and more chord substitution video, if you remember that. So, boom, boom. So that's a B flat over F sharp. B. So, just so that you can stay with the with the song boom 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 so i did this boom 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 or boom 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 all right do it again slower boom b flat over f sharp b over a flat c sharp over b flat boom go minor here even though it's a four that's a b major chord but this is in my mind this is e flat minor boom 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 there we go. Boom. E over C sharp. Boom. F sharp over E flat. Boom. And then I'm going to go to that two suspended chord. Boom. Or not really suspended, but it's kind of relaxed there, like a nine chord. A flat nine. Boom. Slur into it. Boom. 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 Uh, let's try it again. Boom. 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 <laughs> boom, 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 boom. That's different. That's a nice little thing. So, uh, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. That's safe. <laughs> All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So that is on that first chord. I did this little end. So that's a nice little lick. That's what I'm doing at the end. All right. All right, just letting you know that's what I'm going to. So. You can even do something like this. That is a. Uh, so it's like a diminished seventh chord there, and I'm just breaking it up. Just move it down half steps. So one, two. So you hold this chord, and we're gonna move it down three times. One, two, three, and then back to your E flat minor chord. So. So 
I want you guys to play the loop and I want you to play along and show me what you come up with. Put it on Instagram. You know where to follow me. I'll put my, my information here, um, my IG as they call it. I want you guys to know I love you. You know I never like to close out any video without letting you know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity to become a better you.